the JTF commander, John Okeke, who was on a special mission to oil producing communities in Abia State to enlighten the people on the need to stop illegal bunkering, was not pleased with some staff of oil multinationals who were suspected to be dealing with illegal oil operators. You must stop. If you don't stop, I'll hang off all of Una. All the stealing here, this I'm not aware. They will line up truck. How many agents are here with you people? All these civil defense. I'm talking to you. If you, if you don't if you don't answer my hand coffee away from here. How many of you are here? How many agencies? Apart from civil defense, other people are here. Which other agencies? Mention them. And who? Only here. And they are looting every weekend here with police escorts. When people come, they come, they line them down, lock lock a uh, community gate, then they'll bribe the truck, we line up. What's your name? They're going to remove all of them now. They're going to remove all of them. How many of you are here? Tell you I've got to see me before I leave to Yenegua tomorrow. After touring the communities and some of the oil platforms, the commander hinted that the exercise was aimed at educating the people on government's commitment to fight crude oil theft and vandalism in the country. On our Trans Niger pipeline, the terminal factor, which of course affects our output, is really going down. So the, the government has resolved that we should do what we can to ensure that we upscale our output. And to ensure that, I need to go around, sensitize the community, and to sensitize uh, my own troops, as well as assess for possible deployment of uh, enablers that help us to reject in order to achieve within the 14 days given to me. JTF leader, who explained that companies and the communities are the major collaborators in the illegal OED. Hence, the sensitization campaign cautioned OETs against sabotaging the effort of the government. Because you know, the, 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 the truth of the matter is that uh, uh, the driver of the whole thing is pecuniary. What motivates people getting involved in this illicit activity is cash. So almost everybody who is, who is within oil bearing community. Almost everybody there. Very few people. Almost everybody. Almost, almost. Although the, some elements, some people may be of good character, but almost everybody is involved. Is not akin to one particular community. Those that are, can be isolated from such engagement, those that doesn't have oil within their activities, within their communities. Otherwise, you cannot really pinpoint that one area, but some of a high scale than not. Commando Keke reiterated that the federal government is working tirelessly to ensure that illegal oil operators are totally eradicated in the country. Achinono Temple, Nigeria.